parameterized rebar arrangement. TRB provides several methods to arrange slab rebars, such as XY direction, custom scope, However, as we usually can see, the rebar types and rebar arrangements of slabs are always nearly the same. Generally, there are the following two types, firstly, bottom and top bars are arranged continuously, secondly, bottom and top bars are broken. To help you quickly input these rebars and calculate them, we've added the function parameterized rebar arrangement. After the slabs are drawn, click parameterized rebar arrangement. It is also applicable to raft elements. As you can see, the slabs created are shown on the left of the window, where you can new, copy, and delete slabs. The rebar arrangement type and its corresponding slab reinforcements layout plan are on the right. Select the first one, passing through in both directions, input the bar information, the yellow line for bottom bar and the purple line for top bar. In this drawing, input the rebar information, and then click generate, you will find slab 1 with top and bottom bars generated Indiana both directions in the drawing area, click calculate. As for the second one, besides the rebar information, you also need to specify the breaking position, namely to edit the length data displayed in green. For example, a quarter of SN plus 15D is the breaking position of top bars. A quarter of SN minus 20D is the breaking position of bottom bars. The dimensions on the bottom and right sides, a quarter of SN, represent the distance from support to middle strip. In this drawing, input the rebar information, top bar, bottom bar, top, bottom, with all information entered, click generate, and then calculate. So when we get the drawings, all we need to do is just to choose the right type of rebar arrangement and then input the correct rebar information. In addition, there are some tips that you would probably enjoy. Firstly, since the rebars in the same drawing usually share the same rebar type, we added the ability to memorize rebar type, for example, when you input D10 at 100, software memorizes the rebar type in it, and if you want to input the information D10 again, you just have to type in the spacing information. Secondly, about the discontinuity, as we usually can see that most of the rebar breaking positions in the same project are nearly the same, and it would be very troublesome to input the breaking position data in each slab. In that case, the column strip width, breaking position of top bars and bottom bars in calculation settings might be able to help you.